The heroes of the program My Day in Kazakhstan are the foreign experts temporarily living in our country. They are better known under the term expats, as well as foreign ambassadors and volunteers. In other words, the idea from Kazakhstan with love is still at the forefront and sounded by foreigners who have linked their fate with our country, although for a short period. The program heroes talk about themselves, about what they do, how they live here, and why they chose Kazakhstan. The camera accompanies the heroes of the program from the early morning till late evening. Good morning. I'm Kamen Velichkov, and I'm going to my work the European delegation to Kazakhstan. I'm delighted that you could visit my home. Every morning I, of course, see some glimpses of my own uh, life here and, uh, of course, my family with the two sons we have. And uh, I always remember my first president, President Jelu Jelev of Bulgaria, for whom I worked. By the way, uh, here's uh, also one interesting story. He sent me to the then uh, Pope, Jean Paul II, to greet him on his 80th anniversary. Uh, the last thing that uh, I always see when leaving home is the picture of Leila Mahat, one of the best contemporary artists in Kazakhstan. But I shall tell you more about her in her own gallery, Kulansi, which we shall visit with my interns. Hello. Hello. I'd like to tell you that I received a bill, but perhaps it's for another apartment. It's not yours. Yes. You can give it to me. Okay, good. Thank you for helping me, as you always do. I don't know what I would do without your help. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Okay, goodbye. Kamen Vilichko has been working in Astana for four years. He is a head of political press and information sector at European Union delegation in Kazakhstan. As a diplomat, Kamen has been to many countries and is happy to have had the opportunity to live in Astana. Apart from his main job, Kamen spends significant time and effort lecturing students of local universities. Some of his best students are given chance to take internship in the EU office located in the Kazakh capital. It's a wonderful day today. Not so often in Astana, but this is the most beautiful part of it, walking by the river. This view of Astana is one of the most beautiful. It's so popular that once I found them on, a, on the cover of a box of chocolates by the local producer, Rahat. So I used the chocolates instead of a postcard to explain to people where I live and what is the view from my windows. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. This is Marina, my best friend. She always gives me coffee. How are you today, Marina? All right. How are your grandchildren? Here is on two stores. The upper store is for the uh, some of the services and downstairs it's my section the political press and information here is my working place it says here number 30 first of all i have to to say that i am delighted to to, to, to present two of my 
best interns, people who work here after they have studied mainly international relations, which is the case with Aydan and Erkijan, but also international law or economics. And they spend several months here in order to learn how in practice the relations between Kazakhstan and the European Union are conducted. So each morning we get together and it is usually for the discussion over the tasks. Well, then, any questions that you might hear, Tito? Kamen genuinely cares about his students and mentors them outside working hours. He strives to hone their professional skills, pass them his knowledge in various fields, and even instill taste for high art. I'm one of the interns here at the EU delegation, and my supervisor and my boss is uh, Kamen Velichkov. And I'm really happy that he is my supervisor because he's one of the best people, um, the most intelligent and most funny uh, people that I've ever met. And uh, every day you gain some new knowledge from him. And um, here at the EU delegation you have this big opportunity uh, to uh, put into practice everything that you learned at the university. Now the meeting will start of the consuls of the European Union, so until very soon. The councils of European countries often meet at a round table to discuss important projects and pressing issues facing the EU. Joint action requires constant coordination and harmonization, especially when one of the world's major political and economic unions is faced with new challenges. As the European Union does a lot through its own project, now I want to take you to one of the most interesting projects, namely Kazlot support for the uh, local authorities in Kazakhstan. And here again, I have one of my former interns. Ciao, ciao. Project on regional development of Kazakhstan was launched four years ago. The EU has allocated a special grant for its implementation. Key project areas are local government, regional innovation and tourism. Once the pilot project is tested in three regions of Kazakhstan, experts hope to extend the successful experience across whole country. We work in three pilot regions in Kazakhstan. Kizilorda, Mangistau and East Kazakhstan. We work on regional development, which means uh, you know, working on several aspects, from tourist development to development of agriculture, of uh, reform of public administration, improving public services. So it's multidimensional. I'm here in Kazakhstan since two years, and I'm here thanks to this man, Mr. Kamil Velichkov, because I first started here at EU delegation, and I worked for seven months as a trainee at the section of Mr. Velichkov, so political press and information section. Okay, Alberto, ciao, wow. until very soon, until very soon, yeah. thank you. Behind me is the building of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the place where we held most of our meeting with our counterparts, the Kazakhstani diplomats. And now we are heading towards Kazgu, one of the universities that I uh, like a lot uh, because, in fact, much of my um, most memorable memories are connected to my lectures at um, Gumilyov University, at the Nazarbayev University, but also here at the Kazyu, um, something quite extraordinary happened. The Academic Diplomatic Club came into existence. Common and faculty of the Kazakh Humanitarian Law University have a special relationship. Hi. Right, never. Thank you very much. Two years ago, a special club was opened here that has become a traditional platform bringing together the students and diplomats. You remember the, the signature? 
<laughs> First day of opening of this uh, like academic diplomatic club, uh, all the uh, ambassadors and uh, representatives of uh, international organizations they signed these desks just for the memory and now like ambassadors very supporting this idea like uh, also like we had not only ambassadors but also we had among our guests we had uh, like we have a tradition every uh, year we open academic diplomatic club uh, year with the first lecture of minister of foreign affairs of Kazakhstan uh, Ilan and Risa, the second time already opened more than like uh, twice or three times per month we have different events round tables discussions like lectures and uh, what we got after these two years i can say that it's a very big impact for like development of our students like especially not just knowledge development but also how they can now think represent and they are just uh, overview about other countries about uh, international politics and what's going on in general so like we are really trying to prepare a new generation uh, for the future who will like establish partnership between Kazakhstan and other world this is an international library that took place from an important visit of Mr. Katam Katrada Patriot of uh, and f uh, further on, the South African ambassador, Shirish Sony, provided the first input by 60, 600 books. Yeah. And afterwards, each embassy, one after another, tried to supply more and books and uh, various type of um, literature. Here is the European integration. This spring, a group of diplomats planted trees at the alley near the university helping to turn Astana into a green city. These are the trees that were planted by various ambassadors, uh, various uh, members of the diplomatic corps. When we celebrated uh, the sustainable goals, the United Nations sustainable goals, in a big, big festivity here, organized by the way, by the university, but also by the diplomatic academic club and everything happened before the eyes of Themida. Uh, the Palace of Peace and Reconciliation used to have a diplomatic club too. When Kamen was involved in the activities of the club, that's when he learned about contemporary art center Kulanshi. You wanted me to tell you about the place that I like and I of course have chosen one of the best known galleries in uh, Astana which is also uh, at the heart of the pyramid. The gallery was founded by Leila, Leila Mahat. She is the, uh, the artist who really worked. She studied in St. Petersburg uh, but on top of being a wonderful artist she's also a poet and writes uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, verses. On top of that, it is a workshop. Let's go to, to, to show the workshop because they train here people to, to, to become more familiar with art. Contemporary Art Center Kulin Shi has a studio of academic painting, pottery workshops and children's drawing classes. The ancient art of pottery is taught by hereditary master Yerbalat Karabdal. He has kept the family traditions and gladly shares the tricks of the trade with his students. Folk art always attracts the attention of art lovers all over the world. We represent the Kazakh folk art. Our work is of great interest for foreign visitors. Astana is not only made of beautiful buildings, it's also home to an authentic culture. To introduce this culture to the public is our main mission. I am teaching teenagers to sculpt ceramic jugs. Look at this awesome picture in the form of two swans. They seem to float side by side. Tomorrow will be to paint it and give it a perfect look. This is the room where the Congress takes place of the leaders of uh, world and traditional religious. There have been 
a number of interesting personalities sitting around this table in discussion about what the world needs. And secondly, this is the home also of the assembly of the people of Kazakhstan. And here, hence the birds. These uh, birds symbolize 147 nationalities of Kazakhstan. And if you have the time and the patience to count the birds, they will be 147. Thank you, thank you very much indeed. As always, it was great to visit with the gallery and the people of it. Thank you. Thank you, bye. bye. Now it is the time for the meeting. My friends, tell me whom your friends are to tell you who you are. That is the rule, so I'm going to my Rotary Club with Rotary. I've been for 27 years, but it is a new club, a new beginning. Hi, good evening. Nice. How, How was it today? The, the chamber started? Just started today. Oh, great. Hi. You're coming. How's it? So delighted to see you here. Well, everyone. Dina. <laughs> Hi. Dina is my former intern, one of those people that we are most proudly with. Not only was she was working with us, but uh, also is so much active at the Nazarbayev University. Common students gave a presentation of a charity club to businessmen. The main mission of the club is to create equal opportunities to children from unprivileged backgrounds. I was carrying out a traineeship uh, at the political press information section in the European in the delegation of the European Union. I was working for Mr. Vlichkov. Uh, from that time forward, uh, we are good friends. And today, Mr. Vlichkov kindly invited uh, me to present uh, a project of uh, Nazarbayev University Children's Charity Club. Uh, Children's Charity Club is a successful social enterprise uh, which provides mentoring program for. Uh, the orphans and the kids from the low-income families. And today we are going to discuss uh, this project with the, the Rotary Club and I'm very grateful uh, to Mr. Vlichka for inviting us and we hope for our fruitful cooperation in the future. As you understand, this day was not so much about myself but about my interns that are the future of Kazakhstan, the future generation. And now time comes to go to the theater because ever since Shakespeare said it, many people proved it. The world is a stage. This was an ordinary day in the life of an extraordinary man, Kaman Vilichkov. It was filled with work meetings, visits to his favorite places. Good night, our hero. We'll see you soon with another extraordinary hero in the next episode of our show. And now, it is time with my wife Maya to go to the theater. The state academic Russian drama theater Maxim Gorky of the city of Astana is one of the main cultural institutions in the city. The one that gives it an urban flavor and a sense of uh, cultural diversity. And that's why we like a lot its uh, performances, including uh, the, the most recent ones, such as uh, the Pagans of Yablonskaya. We would uh, uh, see once again the uh, artistic star of the theater, uh, the um, most uh, renowned Svetlana Fortuna, in order to see what this prima donna has prepared for us this evening.